the American dream, because you mentioned this, the traditional American dream was being able to buy a home, mm. pay it off, and now you own a home. The reason why this was the American dream for anywhere in the world is because when you pay down your home, what are you building in your home? Equity. It's this concept of equity. And we assume, or we, for lack of a better, we don't have the financial education to know that that equity, which we think is going to make generational wealth because equity is where real wealth is built, can only be found in the home that we live in. But that's not true. And this is where so many people get things wrong because they now stretch themselves too thin. They do risky things, take out adjustable rate mortgages, use too much debt to buy a home because they think that it's an investment that's going to make them wealthy because now you can pay it down, build equity and have something to pass down. However, there are many other ways to build equity to build real wealth that you can then pass down. This goes back into the assets that we talked about, right? When you invest your money into stocks, you are building equity in these companies. When you go and invest in real estate as an investment, not where you live in yourself as a rental property, you're building equity in your real estate portfolio. And this is different than your home because when you buy a rental property, you're buying it for one purpose. You're buying it for the purpose of making money. You buy your home for the purpose of making memories. So if you're buying something for the purpose of making money, you're probably going to make more money because you're going to do a different type of analysis than in the home that you live in. And, you know, one way is you can go and actually buy it. And the second way, like you've been talking about entrepreneurship, is you can build the equity. So when you build a company, you're building equity in the company. Like if you go and start a company, you are the 100% owner of the company. Well, if your company can make $100,000 of profit a year, your equity might be worth 200000 half a million, a million dollars, depending on you know, whatever type of company it is, but you're building equity in a company. So you can build this equity, you can buy this equity. And the whole idea of a recession is now this type of equity, these investments, these assets can go on sale. And this is where now you can come in and buy more equity at a discounted price. And this is one of those things. I'm gonna go back to, we keep mentioning what we talked about before in a previous interview. We're never taught this because school teaches us to become an employee. What do you do when you're an employee? You get a salary. Do you get any equity with a salary? No. Maybe your company gives you separate equity as a compensation package or something, but your salary is payment for hours that you work. And that is nice today, but once you spend your salary, you have nothing left. Real wealth in this country, in this system is built through owning equity. We're never taught this. This is what gets me really heated up because we're never taught about this. And so if, you're, if our whole system is taught around building and earning a salary, how come we're never taught about building equity? Because now what we should be teaching is, hey, go to school, get educated, but understand that wealth is built through equity. So earn a salary doing whatever you want, whether you're a doctor or you're working at a factory, doesn't matter. Take some of your salary, go out and build some equity. We're always taught and think and told that the way you do that is to follow the American dream of just buying a home because now you can pay down your home, build some equity. But that is honestly one of the worst ways to build equity. You never talk about wealthy people becoming the richest people or wealthy people because I paid off my home. No, <laughs> you become wealthy because you own a company, you built a company, you invested in stocks, you invested in real estate, you invested in equity somewhere else and your home is honestly like one of the last things that wealthy people think about. Mm. Yet for the majority of people, when they think about been becoming wealthy and building this type of generational wealth, what are they thinking about? Mm. Buying and paying off my home. And there's so much more to that, but it requires that financial education. If you enjoyed this short clip from my longer videos, here's another clip that I think you'll love and while you're at it, if you're interested in learning more about how to start generating passive income, our team put together an amazing guide on how to start generating passive income for free. All you gotta do is click that button right over there. Thank you for watching and as always, keep hustling.